kind of just left it then a little bit after I went back and looked like I pee myself again but it wasn't like pee so I'm like right okay this might be something here it's now an hour and a half later and I'm sat bouncing on my ball because I think my waters might be slowly going I don't know whether they're meant to do this or not because I've never had a baby before but I'm sat bouncing on this ball and I feel like Maybe my waters are going, but I can't properly tell because I imagined it to just be like one massive gush of water and it isn't. So, and let's see what happens. Oh. Let's get this baby out. Let's come out of the hospital. Tired. Tired. Mad. Pregnancy is mad. So it's 2.20 a.m. and we've just got back from the hospital. Went in, they had to do an endoscopy, probably said that wrong, and they checked and they said there was fluid there and somewhere else, so they sent it off. Then it came back and they said, my waters hadn't broke, but there was something else that was getting tested, so I'd hear back from that. Then they did my heart, blood pressure, and they said that was really high and I had to wait there and get monitored until from... It was like 11 o'clock until 2am um, and they were monitoring it because it really had kept being really high. Walter is missing me. <laughs> and then it went down or started to go down but they wanted to check the baby's movements and stuff. And she was like, are you happy with your movements? I was like, no, oh, I think so. That's all I ever know. She seems to be doing okay. But I've got to go back in again on Friday to check her out on my blood pressure again and I should get a call back again today being Wednesday um, in regards to my results that they sent off because they did a protein in my urine as, urine as well and they're checking it for preeclampsia maybe so it's in my blood pressure headaches and urine protein or something like that she says they're checking it for preeclampsia and then we overheard them say can we offer an induction for 39 weeks reduced movements for Mackenzie? And we was like, we're not ready for an induction now. <laughs> but thankfully, um, we don't have to have one because I ain't got reduced movements. So I don't get what that, all were, that was all about. But yeah, that is what happened tonight. So it was very eventful. Harry's tired because he's got work in the morning. And you've also got to build our flat pack drawers tomorrow night. And the hospital have called me this morning at 8am, waking me up, um, to say that they've done some tests and they've come back and it says I've got preeclampsia. So they've asked me to go back in today at 12 o'clock and they're going to work out a plan for me and baby with the doctor. Don't really know what this means, but I'm just trying to stay positive. I've got a few hours to clean my house and get ready just in case the baby does end up arriving. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's basically the plan for now. Keep sure I find his little toy. Oh, I'm scared now. Really scared. So I've messaged a few family and friends and just obviously let them know. And we'll see what I say at 12 o'clock. So we're now finally on the way home. It's been a long day. Um, Basically, my bloods were fine. My blood pressure was okay today. Like, I don't think it's like really low, is it? But it won't really high either um but i think because they said my protein in my wee or something is 35 not 30 under 30 um that they're in 
juicing me. So they mentioned having like a balloon induction or a gel. And I've decided to go for the gel. Um, didn't really know what to do. But the balloon did not look appetizing. <laughs> did it? I was stressing. Um, so I'm having that hopefully on Friday. So today's Wednesday. Hopefully I'm having that on Friday. But they said don't get your hopes up for the date because they are really busy so they might delay it. But that is the next update from me. Um, I thought she might come tomorrow on my dad's birthday but maybe not now. Um, so yeah, Friday hopefully is the day the ball gets rolling. I'm quite scared but we can do this. So it's now Thursday, I've just woke up from a nap. Um, so it's the day after I've been to the hospital. Um, I rung my midwife today just because I felt like yes, it was such a blur and I wasn't fully, fully informed and knew about the induction procedure. So I was just a bit like, oh, I don't really know what I'm going into here. Do I definitely need to go in? Um, is it the best thing to do? Things like that. So they called me back. Did somebody in the induction of Labour Bay or something? Um, she called me and after my midwife spoke to her and basically just informed me about everything, what's going to happen. Um, but I have got pre-cancer and basically I just need to keep an eye on it and that I will be staying in hospital, I won't be coming home even if I choose to have the balloon induction. I was just explaining the difference between the balloon and the gel again, just so I could fully remember it in my head. Um, so best prepare myself for a few days in the hospital, haven't I? She also said that they still haven't got onto Thursday's induction list. So that means that they're running behind. Um, and this was about half two when she said that. Um, so she said it might not end up being Friday, but she says just keep your phone on loud because it literally could be like midnight, could be through the night, could be Saturday. So I've literally just got to keep my phone on. But even if it isn't, well, Saturday, for example, I think I've still got to go in tomorrow to get monitored again and just check my blood pressure, I think. Um, but obviously, I'll find out more about that tomorrow. So that's just a little update as part of my um, build up to labour vlog. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep checking in and just telling you little updates. Plus, it's good for me to watch back and remember what happened because, like I say, it just keeps just keeps being a blur. Um, but yeah, we're so close now. Realistically, I could have a baby by Monday, could I? We shall see if we have a Monday. Well, say she's here on Monday. She's due on Wednesday, so she's only like two days before a due date. Oh, I don't know, I'm scared. But like today I've been like thinking for every little sign, so I've been like, is this a sign that she's coming? Because like I woke up with real papel this morning. I was like, is this a sign she's coming? Um, I've got dead legs. Um, I don't think that's anything to do with it. I thought, is that something to do with the preeclampsia? So I panicked about that. Um, but... Obviously, it'd be great if she just came naturally today and made everyone's life easier, but I don't think that's going to happen. And it's my dad's birthday too, so that would be a good present for him, but but never mind. Um, yeah, we've just got a waiting game now to see what happens. Um, I might have a baby very, very soon. Oh, can't believe it. Can't believe I am going to be a mum. Like, I genuinely cannot believe it. This pregnancy has gone so fast. So it could possibly be our uh, last night at home before we go and have a baby, hopefully maybe tomorrow. Well, getting used for a baby. Yep. So what are we doing for the night has we've just been for my dad's birthday meal. And now watching Emma Willis delivering babies. It's chilling. And chilling. Okay. Together, last time on the sofa together as a two baby. Yeah. We might be have to do this again tomorrow. Potentially. <laughs> just had a call from the hospital and they said that I'm third in the queue um, to get induced but they're just waiting for beds for the other two people so I'll end up probably getting a call tonight or through the night to go in so obviously to keep my phone on loud um but I've got to go in today just to get my blood pressure checked you know, just to be on my safe side and make sure it's all okay um and then tonight I will get the call oh what we keep we'll get the call oh you just lick my lips so yeah 
tonight or through the night, so obviously it could creep into Saturday, I will have a call to say, Mackenzie, you are ready to be induced. Oh. So yeah, I'm just gonna go do a food shop now. Go get my nails done because they've grown out. Um, and just quickly straight around the house, but I've kept it pretty clean anyway. Um, oh, and also set up the bottle making kit, the pe prep machine, just in case I need to use that, obviously when I'm out of hospital. Um, so just like clean it all and stuff. And then we're ready to have a baby. Oh my big. <laughs> so I've just come out of the hospital. Um, I had to go back in to get my blood pressure checked and stuff. I'm pretty sure it is still high, but they weren't like stressing or anything. It's like over 90 something, which I presume is high. I don't really know. I presume it's high um, or higher than normal anyway. Um, and they just kept doing like readings um, over there from one o'clock till half to over an hour and a half. And then I had a sweep, which was very weird, <laughs> but that's the first sweep I've had. But hopefully that'll get things going. Maybe you never know now. Um, so she could touch my baby's head. I found that so weird. <laughs> hopefully that'll get things going now before my induction tonight. You just never know. So she said she'll do it now and just see. Um, but obviously I'll get a call at some point tonight to go back in and be induced. Can't believe my baby's actually coming before her due date. Well, yeah, I presume I won't be in that long. Because she said, like, people with high blood pressure and under the age of 25, normally... Sorry, I just had something on my phone then. Normally, their labour's not too long. High blood pressure must just push the baby out. No, I wish. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so hopefully it'll be okay. We'll see. I don't know. I'm scared. But, yeah, that's the that's what's going on now. Need to go get my nails done. Need to go do a food shop. Pick up my sister from school. And go home. Quarter past eleven, we had the call. Um, just quickly jumped in the shower, quickly dried the tops of my hair, got changed, straight and round. Harry's literally just finished building his bedside drawer, just sat down, and then we got the call. It's like typically it's great now, but we're going to hospital. Oh my god, had my nails done with a little pee on, and also my monkey. I can't, oh, still got two pairs on off, that's a bit grim. Just ignore that. <laughs> Uh, my monkey, I cannot sleep without, but I'm going to be a brave girl because I don't want to lose it in the hospital. I'm going to put it in her cot. So it's going to go there. For when I'm back. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm not walking back in this house until I'm a mum. So I've got everything set up. Little baby caddy for my mother. Her little bedside crib. Changing mat. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Typical, I've got washing drying on the balcony. But it's fine, we move. Let's go have a baby. Last little bump video. If you can see it. Oh, I just love her so much. Can't wait to see her now. <laughs> so we tried to have the balloon induction, but it wouldn't work. It wouldn't go in right. We tried loads as well, didn't we? Yep. Said I did well. Um, quite tough but I suppose it would prepare me for when the baby's about to birth out of me. <laughs> so now I've had the gel, pros, what's it called, prostate gel or something, don't know. I've had the gel but I'm dying for a wee. Um, so I'm just getting monitored, I'm going for a wee. Um, but yeah, I panicked because I saw blood and I was like, huh? but they said that's so normal. And said they could feel the baby's head and that it was two centimetres. So if I just have this one round of gel and then I will be ready for the labour ward. Mm. Speaking quite well, so I don't know why I'm mm. on my own. What time is it house as well, nearly? 3am? 2.40am. 2.40am. I'm not even tired now, I've woke up. I was tired earlier. Are you tired, Has? It's a hard life.
Rufus toast. Still not slapped. Being in pain. Been having too many contractions. Um, so I've had to have an injection to slow it down. And now another doctor's coming to see me because it's still not slowing. I absolutely shattered. I haven't slept last night, so since the night before. Um, I'm going to try and shut my eyes, but it's my contractions are easing now. I've had the injection to slow them down, so they're going too fast. Um, they were literally going rapid, like literally constant. Um, and they say they're normal at like four every ten minutes, they're having loss. <laughs> so I think they were having over six every ten minutes, but I thought something went right. Went and got a bath at like 5 a.m. Um, and I was literally like, oh, the pain was just like uncontrollable. And I thought, this cannot be until I birth her. I thought, this is not right. Um, and thankfully, it wasn't. So, so when they put me on the monitor a few hours later, I could have literally seen my contractions going boom, 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 boom. Um, but yeah, so I've been on this monitor for ages. Um, just obviously making sure that they are eventually slowing down. Um, I've had a cannula fitted and I'm on a drip. I think it's fine. I think it's to keep me hydrated. And then the doctor's gonna come back and hopefully they said they'll be I had food then. <laughs> hopefully they'll be enough. Um I'll be in, like ready to have my water grow basically just go around the membranes or something, I don't know. So hopefully my water's break and then I'll be in proper labour, hopefully. <laughs> So tired though, I'm dying for a wee as well. <laughs> but I'm gonna obviously wait till this moment thing's done. Go for a wee and then hopefully I will know if my walls can break up. But yeah, that is so far. Just some hospital food as well. Well not well, too bad, it was nice. But yeah. Saturday night, 10 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Um, had a mental day. So I started with them contractions this morning and they were too intense. So I had to have a drip, not a drip, an injection to, turn, to stop them, like to slow them down, which is every eased off now. Then I got checked and I wasn't I'd reduced in dilation, if that's even a thing. Um, and I still haven't been checked yet. I think I've lost my mucus plug. Baby's fine. She's um, kicking away in a heartbeat. So, um, going thanks. So they said if I keep getting them too many contractions, the baby will start getting distressed. But thankfully she's all right because it started slowing down after about an hour. Um, I didn't sleep all last night, so I managed to have a couple of hours earlier. My mum massaged my feet while Harry went home and chilled for a bit, didn't you? Went to go see the dogs. Um, but yeah, been on that drip <laughs> to keep hydrated. And now I'm just waiting. Oh, I'm waiting for a doctor to come and check what my what they check in my cervix to see if I'm far enough for a far enough for a what? Water's breaking. That's it. Far enough for a water's breaking, which I hope I am because I've had enough. When I thought induction, I did not think it'd be like this long. But it's fine, it's all gonna be worth it. Isn't it? But I'm just glad to be feeling back this morning. That was literally that is like what you get right at the end and I got it right at the start. So I feel like prepared for the proper thing now because I had them contractions literally this morning. They had to wait four hours and struggle with them contractions. I was like, surely this is not right. Because it didn't feel like belly ache, it was just another level, it was off. But yeah, that is my update of my induction story so far. It has <laughs> smelly crisps. I've also lost my appetite as well, I've hardly eaten today. Which I suppose is not good. 
but I've drunk plenty of fluids and I've had plenty of energy, looks good energy and stuff, so at least I've had that. But yeah. Bye. So the doctors have said that they can't put the gel in again because obviously I hyper-stimulated last time on it. So they've come in and said that they can try and refit the balloon, keep that in for 12 hours. So I'm just getting one in now to make sure I can have it. I started having quite many contractions again so they're just seeing if they're regular or irregular before obviously I have to have it or not. I mean right now, <laughs> my mum's on her way and it's 3am. It's obviously to part me getting this balloon fitted in. Um, I've left Harry in bed because obviously he can come at 8am because um, he's birth partner number one and yeah I've just got to wait and see see what happens hopefully they can get this balloon in then our waters can, my waters can break and the jobs are good and we can get on the next step of having baby girl because at the minute it's been a bit of a ride so last night I went to go try and get the balloon inserted again to try and get my induction restarts obviously it stopped with the gel um, but when I went in to go get it done my mum came and met us here at 4am and they said I was like three centimetres and my membranes were bulging at my walls I think um, so they said they didn't need to put it in um, so we called labour ward and I'm going down there hopefully today now it's 10 a.m. at the minute um, on Sunday so I'm going down there and my heart's popped and then that should get things going so hopefully I'll have a baby soon can't wait now oh my god I've just had enough I've literally had like six hours sleep in like three days so it's tough it is tough but it's alright it's worth it I can't wait to meet you now I'm all lonely now. I'm the last work person waiting to go on the labour ward. Just had a scare this morning, I'll fill you in on that. Just gonna go get a shower now and get it sorted. It's now 9pm, I'm still waiting to move over to the ward. I've been the first on the list practically most of the day <coughs> and then someone came and birthed and like went into labour naturally so I took my space obviously which is fair enough um so I'm just waiting again to hopefully go on hopefully before 10 pm so Harry don't have to go home um, my mum and dad came and met us downstairs earlier while well, Harry went and walked the rocks <laughs> so I went and had a chat to them at main entrance and yeah, I'm still waiting to birth this child. Every time she pop her wiggles, I'm like, is she gonna um, pop my um, waters? <laughs> but I don't know. I'm just eating a ginger nut. And a cup of tea. A cup of tea. And hopefully, Harry will not leave until we've had a baby, but we can see. <laughs> We had a bit of a scare this morning. Her heart rate was dipped or something when they were checking us. Um, so I was like, should I text my partner to come? So it was like, just before 8am. And I was like, yeah. So I panicked. They got the obstetrician and the doctor to come look. And basically what had happened is, my heart rate was really high and it was taking, like when they were monitoring me, it wasn't showing babies, it was just showing mine or something, I don't know, a bit confusing, but basically she was fine, it was just the machine, <laughs> um, but that was scary, and other than that, today has been fine, also, everyone that came on after me has now gone onto the labour ward, so that's just my luck, but never mind, she's just keeping us on her toes, but yeah, Hopefully next time you'll see me on the labour ward.